right, so I want to talk about how to use multiband compression on your mastering chain, specifically how to beef up your sub information and low end punch. Now, a lot of times in tracks, I find that when I'm referencing uh, low end, the low end in another song is a lot more powerful and a lot more present and just kind of constant in the sub frequencies compared to my track. And one really easy fix for that is to use a multiband compressor and compress the low end sub frequencies to get them to settle and stay full for longer periods of time. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Isotope um, Ozone 8 uh, multiband dynamics plugin for this. Um, but let's first just listen to my um, remix here, my song, and then the reference that we're going to uh, be comparing to. And the reference is um, a kid remix called 4AM. So already they're both pretty similar. It's a great reference, um, but I can definitely tell that in the other remix, um, there's a lot more of a nice presence for that kick drum in the low end, and the bass just kind of they just kind of feel a little bit tighter and a little bit um, smoother in the sub frequencies. So we're gonna go ahead and grab an Ozone Eight uh, Dynamics and place it on our track. Now the first thing you have to keep in mind when you use like an Ozone. Uh, dynamics is that it automatically has the compressor ratio set to two to one for all the bands. Now I'm definitely not going to be compressing these upper bands. So you just want to make sure to go and turn this ratio back to one to one. That way you're not actually um, compressing. You can also turn those bands off, but I just like to keep it one to one in case I do want to compress. Now the first band we're going to look at is the sub band. So I like to go ahead and solo this band here. And what I'm searching for is the sub and the kick punch and really nothing else. So you're going to want to move this around until you find that sweet spot. That sounds pretty good, like right about at 126. Now... What we want to do for this band is a ratio of anywhere from 2 to 3 dB, somewhere in there, to 1. Um, and the goal here is just to kind of tap down on this frequency band and bring those two elements, which is usually your sub from your bass and your kick, the sub and your kick, just kind of squeeze them together. Bring them out a little bit more and just kind of level them out. Now, I like to use a little bit harder of a knee since I want this compression to happen pretty dramatically. And usually the longer of an attack you set... Um, if you happen to hear distortion, if you increase this attack, it kind of backs off on that distortion and vice versa, um, you know, bringing down the release, quicker release that will also kind of help um, smooth out the compression. So uh, let's just go ahead and kind of play with that. And, you know, anywhere from 2 to 3 dBs of gain reduction is usually pretty good. And then what's cool about the Ozone um, Multiband Dynamics is I can just click this Auto button here, and that's going to automatically adjust the gain to compensate. And then the next band we're going to look at is this kind of upper punch region, which is gonna be just above the sub, all the way until usually around like four to 500, until you get that like kind of low end energy that really provides all the punch. So I'll go ahead and solo that to find that region. Right about there, just that that really important like meaty part of the track. Now I'm just going to do the same process, kind of um, tap down a little bit with the compression, get like two to three dBs, and then make up the gain. So with that being said, now we can kind of hear what these both sound like together. Oh 
And I'm just going to go ahead and loop kind of the second half here where there's a little bit more going on and just really focus on the power of the kick and the low end sub presence um, when I'm bypassed versus when it's on. So here's bypassed. So I'm really hearing kind of like a little bit more life in the low end. It feels like the track is kind of driving a little heavier and it just kind of feels like there was more time and care put into really making sure that low end is constant and full. Now we can go ahead and reference this to the original, uh, the, the other track that we're referencing. Pretty similar. I mean, it wasn't far off before this, but I really think adding this kind of um, evening out of the sub and punch frequencies to really just kind of, you know, lend, make the mix feel a little bit more constant that low end has really done a good job and helped out. 